Let's check out the one bedroom premium tower suite at the Luxor Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. So, we walk into a beautiful foyer, vestibule, whatever you wanna call it, but it opens up into a nice view of Vegas. We'll get there in a minute. So here's, going to the right, here's the guest bathroom here. And that's right as soon as you come in the door for guests. Then we'll walk out into the foyer again. And then we have the living room here, the living space. And you have a, a nice size sofa, which this sofa, to let you know, no sofa bed. So don't look for that if you were expecting it. Uh, nice size TV, chair, nice picture. They, they recently re renovated this place a few years ago. And uh, they've done a really good job here in the tower suites. Um, here's a work desk between the living room and dining room. I like the way it's set up because if you are working, you can still watch the TV. We work our way into the dining room here. You know, dining room table. And we have the kitchenette. Let me turn the lights on. So we have the kitchenette here. So I call it a kitchenette because basically all you have is a refrigerator and that's it and a sink. So, um, and a coffee maker but no coffee. So, you know, this is a casino resort. They want you to get your, your stuff downstairs and spend your money with them. A lot of space here to keep anything you need, but no microwave, just to let you know that. Uh, I found that awful surprising, but not bad. I'm not gonna be a stickler on that. So we'll work our way into the bedroom. So, this is the bedroom. And here you have another TV. This looks like about 55 inches. It's not as big as the one in the living room, but uh, it's nice. Plenty of space to put whatever you need, clothing or whatnot. And here's a lot of dresser space. Uh, here too, you have a work desk. Here if you wanna do some work and a lot of space, lamp. And here's your view, floor to ceiling windows on all between the bed, the bedroom, living room, and dining room. You have the pyramid next door. You have the east tower next to me. Between that is the airport and the Excalibur Hotel in the mountains in the, in the background. The sun's going down, so I wanted to make this real quick. Um, here's a bench here, which I use today. You know, you just sit down, put your shoes, whatever on. It's very nice, very convenient. More space, dresser, drawer. I'm not gonna open it up. Um, here's more, you know, more of the same, a lot of space, and then we work our way into a, a hallway between the bedroom and the master bathroom, and here's a closet. Now, this is the only closet in the whole room, just letting you know that, so I found that surprising too, but you got your basics, iron board, iron, you're safe to keep all your important goods in, and your hair dryer, and we also have another bench. Another bench down here for you to sit on. And then we'll work our way into the bathroom. We'll start in the bathroom. This bathroom is huge. I'm just letting you know. Um, I guess this area here is for, you know, if you're going out on the town or whatever, getting yourself made up, getting yourself right. And also for the little ones, you know, maybe a baby changing area also. But it's, this, is, this is a nice area. Um, you have your his and her sink which <laughs> look at this so i brushing my teeth this morning and i'm looking in the mirror and i see about 50 of me right but this is a nice setup it makes the place look bigger the bathroom here's the commode here the toilet you have your own little separate area you can close the door whatnot small area bathtub i like that a single bathtub because i like taking baths um yeah i like i like rooms with just the bathtub and the shower separate but that's nice plenty of towel plenty of space for towels here's your walk-in shower here shower is pretty comfortable and the only gripe i have about the shower is that if you use liquid or body soaps uh, liquid body body wash whatever shampoos there's no place there's no place to put it 
So I find myself in the last couple of days getting in the shower and I, I had a liquid body soap and I had to put it on the floor, you know, to wash. No place to put your face cloth either. So you just kind of hang it over. I'm not really a stickler on that, but some people are. Um, but nice pictures here. But this overall is a nice room. It's a thousand, almost 1100 square feet. Um, they actually gave me this room because I reserved a, uh, uh, a pyramid uh, suite the size about the size of this but with Vegas slowly opening here and this is March the first week of March second week of March it's uh they they they're not open on the uh during the week they're not having those rooms open so they gave me this room instead for the same price I want to show you something else real quick too this fresh air ventilation system a lot of people that I just found that out and this is my last day here if you want fresh air, since there's no balcony, there's no windows that can be open, you just kind of slide that open and it'll bring you fresh air and it, it helps out a lot. All these rooms also have their own climate control. The dining room, living room, and the bedroom have their own climate control. So um, if you're looking to stay at a nice sized place, this place is like a step down. This room is a step down from the penthouse suite. In the penthouse suite, I've seen that, and it's pretty big. But this is a nice place. I, you know, I love the double doors. I love the open area. I love the openness of the whole room. So, if you're interested in staying here, just uh, check out the prices. Now, you know, Vegas opening up, it's gonna get, it's gonna be a lot more than what I paid for it. But um, I just wanted to give you an overview of this room. It, one bedroom tower premium suite at the Luxor. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you later.